Hey guys, ionic naming uh, video number three, and we're going to use something called a polyatomic ion. So, Mr. Dimitri, what's a polyatomic ion? So, uh, polyatoms, right? Polyatoms. Poly, -atoms. poly well, means what? More than one. More right? than one. So, anytime you have a molecule, an entire molecule made of more than one atom, has an overall charge, it's called a polyatomic ion. And it's an ion, meaning it has a charge. So, what's an example of one polyatomic ion? Uh, this will be something called chlorate, ClO3. Minus, this entire molecule has a charge of a minus one. Okay, so that's chlorate. Now let's take a note. As you look inside of your, your notes back, you're gonna notice there's a list of most common polyatomic ions. And, and there's actually, at some point, we might ask you to memorize it, I don't know or not. But if that's the case, there's kind of some patterns that you may not have noticed. What do you notice about the patterns that, this is called chlorate. What if you write chlorate next to it or something like that? So that's chlorate, but there's also one called chlorite. So, ite has, here's my rule, has one less oxygen. Eights always have oxygens, and the ites with one less oxygen, and they keep the same charge, so chlorite would be? ClO2 minus. So my recommendation, if you're trying to learn the polyatomic ions, is learn the eight ones, they're the common ones, and then the ites are always one less. Yeah, group them together, it makes it a lot easier. It saves you, you don't have to memorize nearly as much. Now, today though, our main focus is we wanna learn how to write the formulas and the names of these ionic compounds that contain these polyions. And before you get all freaked out, they're exactly the same thing we've done in the previous videos. The only thing is that instead of having a single atom with a charge, we're going to have multiple atoms with a charge. It's not that much harder. All right, so Mr. Dimitrich, why don't you give us an example? So let's try with this one. Magnesium nitrate. All right, so magnesium. We've done this before. Magnesium, second column, Mg, Positive two, right? You write the symbol with the charge. Got that? Now nitrate. We grab our, our sheet right here, right? We look up nitrate and we write the formula NO3, negative one. Now, do you notice? We've got a two positive and a negative one charge. I need to have two nitrates. So watch what Mr. Dimitri does. So I always think of it this way, it may be silly, but we don't care what's underneath here. All we uh, care about is the charge. See what we have? A two plus here and a minus one here. We just need another minus. We need another minus. It just so happens these minus come packaged in an NO3 format. So really what we're doing is we're looking at these two right here. This minus and this minus. And see how these two add up to, wait for it, minus, minus two, two. And positive two. And this is plus two. Now when you write out the formula, you're going to have to do some parentheses. So you've got one magnesium. So what, what, what are you going to, how do you I'm going to raise this right here. So we're going to write one magnesium here. But then I know I have two of the NO3s. So yes. So, so we're going to put parentheses. This. And then we're gonna put the NO3 in the middle, and then we're gonna tell how many of those NO3s we have. Now, don't we have two of these NO3s we yes. need to add in here? Yes. So yeah. we're gonna put it on the side. Now, m mistakes sometimes students make are like, oh yeah, let's do like we do in math, and let's just play this out and make it N206. That is not the same thing. No. Anytime you have more than one ion, you, you parenthesis. You've gotta parenthesize it. That's it, that's it. And this is our final answer. So well, let's do another example. So let's go crazy on, on everything here. Let's go ammonium. And let's do carbonate. Ammonium carbonate. Now, ammonium, you're going to say, wait a second, the cation, that's not one of the elements on the periodic table, ammonium. But if you look at your polyion list, this is actually the only common positively charged polyatomic ion. So if you notice, it's NH4 positive 1. Plus. Okay. And carbonate, again, look at the table here, it has an 8 ending. So it's going to be CO3, 2 minus. Now, again, if you cover these up, right? We got positive one, negative two. What do I need? Another NH4. So I'm gonna write another NH4. And so I need two ammoniums and one carbonate. So watch how Mr. D writes this out. I have to have two of these, and then remember it's a polyatomic ion. I cannot just multiply this out. I'm gonna put a parenthesis around the outside, put a two next to it, and don't we only have one of the CO3s? Yeah. So there's no need to put a parenthesis around it. I mean, you can if you want. It, you can go like this, but that's bananas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's so, no need to do that. In fact, we frown on that. Yes, yeah, that kind of looks cheesy. It does look cheesy. And it's, I'm it's, bad, it. it's bad form. Bad right? chemistry form. lamb. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. What you end up with. So let's do another example. All right, so let's try this one again. I'm not telling you there's going to be a Roman numeral. There's going to be a Roman numeral. So let's go lead. Let's go crazy with the Roman numerals. Lead four hydroxide. And this is one that people actually make mistakes on yeah, yeah. Um, because they get a little bit confident. Yeah, you'll see. So lead, we know that symbol is PB. And the Roman numeral tells us the charge. We love that they, it tells Positive us Positive four. Yep. Hydroxide is an interesting one. It's from your, from your table here. 
minus one. Yep. So how many OHs do I need? Again, if, uh, we, if we just look at this like four this, four. yeah, nah. plus four, when we need four minuses? I need four of them. Now, just for those of you who are visual learners, couldn't I go like this? Yeah. But again. So it's PB, OH, 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 OH. No. Well, we don't write PB, OH, 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 OH. We we're write. Gonna, we're going to use parentheses again. So I'm going to write the PB here, and I'm going to put parentheses, OH, in parentheses, four. And that's four the lines. correct answer, but here's a mistake we almost always see students make. Why don't you write out the answer that we often see? We see students this. often write this, but you see it real. This means four O's and four H's. This means one O and four H's, but we've got four O's and four H's. So you have to put the parentheses there. The best way to look at it is if you ever have more than one of these polyatomic ions, you have to use the parentheses. You have to. We don't want to see that. That makes us very sad. sad. All right, so folks, that's how we, we do this, right? We got one more to do with polyatomic ions. That's coming up next. We'll see you next.